right? An immature Scorpio is like, it, was, it might be a Scorpio thing. Like, if you heard a Scorpio, bro, like that tail thing, like the get back is real. Yeah. The thing I don't like. And what's that, crazy is we don't even have to touch you. You're going to take this L. You're going to feel it. That's crazy. You that's life. You, you, you still like that? Yes. So what, what, at what point? But I mean, my soft girl. Uh, I was about to say, at what point do you be like, you know what? I'm going to walk away. When somebody tells you it. you ain't got to be like that no more. And you know they what? mean it. When someone it comes in your life and tells you you don't have to be that way. You don't. Because mm. my mama did. That's not how I was raised. I had to literally apologize to my whole family because I was like, like I know they saw and they never judge me. People family be writing them off, be doing weird stuff. Like, do you see people's moms getting on the internet? And my son, I would never do that to my kid. So what do you think the term was? Because you had your parents as preachers. They still are. Right, your parents are preachers. Yeah, and they was together the whole the whole, whole time. They was with my you. My parents about to be married about a hundred years. Right. So yeah. where did it? Because you had five kids. Uh, yeah. Is it all about the same or no? I've been married. It's kind of like yeah, multiple times, time. right? Yep. It's like kind of the opposite. Where did the the turn go? The turn went when I remember I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, what made me like wild out and do so? When somebody told me you're such a daddy's girl, you're gonna just always listen to your dad. Then I realized I listened to somebody that didn't even have a dad. Mm. So I was trying to be rebellious, like, oh my god, I'm not a goody. People say you're a goody two shoes. You don't do nothing. Da da da. You oh, okay? Watch this. You know, what I mean? like Usher, watch this. Mm -hmm. And I tee up everything that was child. But at the end of the day, I never lost myself, mm -hmm. and that's a blessing because I see some people that have lost their self and I'm just like, wow, like they like there's some people like I still look I think I look better now look than good. before you I came up. Like I look better now than when I first came out. I'll be looking at pictures like where was my eyebrows? But there's some people I'll be like, they look like what they've been through. Mm. Yo, you said and I think the tank interview was like, yo, you always like played it bigger than what you were because you were short. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even when when Missy calls you like you wanted to sound big. Yeah. Everybody thought I was gonna be tall. Did that affect any party of it? Like, I feel like that, it sounds good on the surface, but I'm trying to go deeper than that. Like, mm -hmm. did that affect any of your relationships? What, me being short? No, wanting to be big, like, in a personality. Just wanting to be bigger. I I just have a big personality. I never wanted to be taller, bigger, uh, wider. I never wanted none of that. But it was just like, like, I'm literally the Scorpio that was like, so, like, I'm the person, you know how people are like, yo, because when we get there with, I'm going to be like, remember you had said when we get there, we tearing all this shit up. I'm going to go and be like, let's go. Let's tear it up. Yeah. Right. Like, the f like, don't get me all, like, don't get me all hyped up. Because I tell people, once I get hyped, you're not going to be able to calm me down. You have to get my dad on the phone. Mm. For real. So it's just like, I've always had a big personality. I would say my downfall is, is it had nothing to do with my relationships. I had no business being in those relationships anyway. That's because I didn't know who I was. So respectfully, my children, like, that's honestly all I wanted I never really wanted to be with those oh, child let me get let me get to gossiping child like I I was just like what was I thinking we should have just been friends matter of fact you should have just smiled and waved mm. but now that I know who I am and it has nothing to do with little mo I, I asked that because like me and my girl been together for five years right and we've been through like some stuff you supposed to like real toxic stuff once you, you pass the fifth year yeah, so like I was gonna say, like we went through some stuff, like some some things we shouldn't have been through. What and did I'm you not do? Really proud to do. What did you do? What I do? Scorpios oh, I did don't a lot. do anything. I know. That Scorpios don't do anything. We don't. Oh my god, this is crazy. Female Scorpios don't do anything. Don't do nothing. Just no. Nothing. And, and it's unbelievable. Okay. On everything I love. We could never have this conversation then, because you yeah. don't do anything. No, it's like. You can't be like, yo, these niggas, I can't stop these niggas from wanting to holler at me. It's not what they say to me. It's what I respond to. But the fact that your answer is we can't do nothing, is that's just a joke. That's just for entertainment purposes only. No, it's. I bet you can't name three things that your girl did that you'd be like, I should have walked away. One. I, I can name a, a few. Name one. I'm not going to do it right here. Just name one. I can name what I did. That she probably should have walked away. Just name one thing she did. I can't say what she did. I can say what I did, but that's the thing. You, see, you, I can you, say what I did. You're jotting. You, 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 you're trying to divert. Name one thing she did. Bro. Watch this. Just name one thing. I'm not going to do that. I could put me out there. I'll put me out there. That's that's just respect. That don't have nothing to do with me. Nobody nothing. knows your girl's name. I don't no, even know who she not, is. I have a podcast she could be... my girl. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, so, I'm like, it's, but even that's just respect. Like, I, like, All right, so name one thing you did. I cheated. Who don't cheat? What? Men, let me tell you something. Men, when I was told at a young age, men want men to procreate. So it's naturally in your system 
to do you see what they used to do in the older days how many wives them niggas had how many kids they had they beget whole nations so to think that your man is going to be monogamous to just you and not even look that don't mean you see cheating has nothing to do with sex that's just the actual finalization that this nigga was out here the mind you thought it first and then you actually acted on it so what made you think outside of like dad like she really riding she does no wrong she's a scorpio she got my back these if y'all been together five years y'all survived the pandemic you can't name one thing that she did wrong, but you said you cheated. And that's not even, that's not even like, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's a given. Mm. That's crazy that she said that's a given. Cause like I did it one time and like, it was really on some childish stuff. Cause I was hurt. My feelings was hurt. Like, I like, so when you say that's a given, I don't know. Like I ain't, I'm not these niggas. A nigga, a nigga cheating or stepping out don't ever make the female mad. If you take this bitch to get something to eat or give her a couple of dollars, I'm going to fuck your whole life up. Oh, no, I ain't never do that. That way. I ain't never do nothing. You'll be that. like, yo, did you take that bitch to get... I don't even care. Like, niggas be like, I didn't buy that bitch a french fry. Say less. And if you took her to Starbucks, it's up for you. But some and girl... A, some girl... No. <laughs> still, like, she was hurt about that cheating shit. She ain't... Because... And it took a while to get over that. Like, years. It's, that she's was not, like... And she's not over it because it's just like, dang, like why he, do, I'm going to tell you as a Scorpio woman, it's like, why would you do that to me? I don't do nothing. But you don't think I could think the same thing? Like, why would you do that to me? Yeah. You don't think I could think the same thing? You just sit up here and say, we don't do nothing. That's young. crazy. Y'all are young. Imagine if I was saying, we don't do nothing. Cheating is nothing. That's a given. How, how old is she? She's 32. And so if y'all been together five, you, she not even, wait till she become a cougar. Then you really going to, no, I'm just kidding. Uh. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, anyway, I was. I, I said that to say, I felt like even now, looking back on it, there's a lot of things, we, we situations we should have never been in, right? Yeah. And I think the time really helped us grow through that, right? And I was yeah. wondering, do you think in any of the situations, you said I shouldn't have been with him, do you think you wasn't with him long enough to really get over that and learn? Or None of my marriages lasted past six years. That's what I'm saying. But did, is it is it the fact that I didn't have enough time to really grow through myself, grow through what I was going through? Right? Like, is it like, what about you? Right? Not about, I shouldn't even been with him. But, because I'm like, yo, five years, I'm like, yeah, I'm looking back on things. And yeah, if I would, we should have quit two years ago. It was toxic. It was bad. But now it's five years in and I'm like, yo, I'm glad we she did. She ever stabbed you? She ain't stabbed me. She, some, she did some things though. I stabbed my, um, one of my husbands. She did some My things. ex-husbands. But I'm mad. And he's a Scorpio too. Because he did, it wasn't the fact that he cheated. When I saw, I was like, you had that on the bed that my daughter lays on when she come here, you're done. But I'm saying, do, yeah. you, do you think you didn't have enough time then, with the people? Was it just... I'll be apart, like, baby, I'm only here for a little while, not a long time. I'm <laughs> here for a good time. <laughs> I ain't Kevin. That was the old me. That was childish. I matured. Mm. Like, now I'm just like, I'm here forever. And whoever want to come between that, if they ready to die, they better have their money up. Because mm. some people can't even afford to die. Let's get in. Mm. That's a fact. So you do think so? So you do think then you ain't give enough time? Is it safe to say that? I gave him too much time. Six years, thing. Five. You said nothing. Your marriage lasted six years. I got two kids by my two kids by East. That's too much time. And all my kids is like two and a half, three years apart. That's too much time. Like, bro. <laughs> like it, now it gets like I hit in New York. Yeah, that's nah. Good. It's like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like good. that's too much time. Cause one time my sister was like, "You can't." This is when I knew. Like, I was just doing stuff, and I must have been inebriated, intoxicated, or just, like, being weird. My sister's like, you can't possibly love yeah. this person that much. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Mm. And I had to tighten up. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah.